Hello, good morning viewers. In this tutorial, I will be solving this recommended question. It was sent to me since last week. You can see this is a quadrilateral that has been partitioned into three components of different rectangles. The first rectangle has an area of 20 meters squared. The area of the middle rectangle is not given, but we want to find it. The last rectangle is a square. You can see this number 25 is a perfect square number. This means that this is a square that has an area of 25 meters squared. The first and the second rectangle joined together has a length of 7 meters. You can see from this point to this point is 7 meters. While the second and the last rectangle joined together has a length of 8 meters. So how can we find the area of this middle rectangle? I have two methods for you. But the first method will be a little bit complicated compared to the second one. I know people like simple things. This is why I decided to take the simplest one to the end. So now let's start. Okay, we know that area of a rectangle is equal to length multiplied by the breadth. Yes. So since this one is unknown, let us define the breadth of this rectangle with B. And you know the, the opposite lengths of a rectangle are equal, so let me name this one as L. This one is also L. So if the breadth of this missing rectangle is B, definitely this will be 8 minus B, because the total from here to here is 8. If you remove B from 8, what is left is the breadth of this square or the length. The same thing here, you can see from here to here is 7, but this one alone is B. Subtracting B from 7, you'll be left with this one. We have 7 minus B. What I will do next is to find a formula connecting uh, the first rectangle and the last one. You know, we are talking about area. The area here is 20 meter squared. I don't have to put the unit in the end, I can bring it back. It is the same thing as the length, and you can see we have length here as L, multiplied by the breadth, and the breadth is 7 minus B. We have 7 minus B. I can expand this from here, this becomes 7 times L is 7L, minus L times B is LB, this is 20. You see we have LB here. Definitely while finding the formula connecting this area, I will obtain another LB. So I can make LB from here the subject of this equation. This is negative coming to the left, it becomes positive. So we have LB to the left. To the right we already have 7L there. So we have 7L. This is 20 positive to the left. Coming to the right it becomes negative 20. I can name this one as equation 1. Now let me use the last square or rectangle to find another formula. 25 is equal to the length because they have the same length. L multiplied by the breadth which we have as 8 minus B. Expanding this we have 25 equal to 8L minus LB. I can do the same and make LB the subject. LB will now be equal to 8L minus 25. I can name this as equation 2. Now relate equation 1 and equation 2. Observe something here. Equation 1 and equation 2 are all expressed in terms of LB. From equation 1, LB equal to this. Equation 2, LB is equal to this. Their left hand side are exactly the same. Definitely their right hand side must be the same. So I can say their right hand side, I can equate them together. On their right hand side we have from equation 2, we have 8L minus 25. And this must be equal to the other one which is 7L minus 20. So I can solve for L here. 7L to the left becomes negative, so we have 8L minus 7L. This is equal to, we already have negative 20 here. This is negative, coming to the right, it becomes positive 25. 8 minus 7 is 1, so we have only L here. And to the right, we have negative 20 plus 25, which is exactly equal to 
five. It means that this L here is nothing but five meter. This is five meter. So having obtained the value of L, you know, uh, this middle rectangle has a length of five as well because they all have the same length, but the breadth is not given. We want to find it now. So we can substitute this five into this equation here. All of them, we can use all of them to find B, but I prefer to use this one. So we have 20 equals L multiplied by seven minus B. But already our L is equal to five, so I can substitute it here. Five is multiplying this expression, so we can divide both sides by five. This will cancel this. 5 into 20 is 4. And to the right, we have 7 minus b because 5 has gone. So now we can solve for b. b is negative. Coming to the left, it becomes positive. So we have b here equal to 7. 4 is positive. Crossing over, it becomes negative. Uh, 7 minus 4 is 3. And b finally is equal to 3. Remember, x is an area. Therefore, we conclude by saying that x is equal to length times breadth. And the length is 5, the breadth is 3, finally this is equal to 15. We don't have to put the unit because we are asked to find x alone. So substituting it back in here, we have x meter squared, meaning 15 meter squared. So this is the first method, which I consider the most difficult one. So now let us test the other method, which I think is the best way to solve it. So now let us look on to the second method, which I think is the simplest way to solve this problem. We can find x directly without finding the two dimensions. Only single dimension is enough for us to find this value of x. Consider this area and this area joined together, we have 25 plus x. And the formula remains the same. Because the total length from this side to this side is 8 meters, so we can consider these two quadrilateral having the same length. So 25 plus x will be equal to length times breadth again. The length is eight, the breadth, so I can call this one the breadth, eight b, because eight times b is eight b. Again, I can connect this and this together, 20 plus x will be equal to length. You can see their length is seven. Their breadth is also b. This is a simultaneous linear equations. You can see the two of them. This is equation one, this is equation two. Okay, now we can subtract equation two from one. So I can subtract it from here. 25 minus 20 is five. X minus X is zero, so we have nothing here. But to the right, we have eight B minus seven B is just B. You can see that directly we have obtained the value of B to be equal to five. You know, this is going to be five meter. We can now substitute the value of five in either equation one or equation two to obtain the value of x as required. Okay, now we can see that 25 from this first equation plus x is equal to eight, eight b. But we know that b is equal to five. We can say that 25 plus x is equal to eight multiplied by five. And eight multiplied by five is 40. So we have 25 plus X is equal to 40. What do we do next is to make X the subject here. X will now be equal to 40. This one crosses over becomes 25 negative. X finally is equal to 15 because 40 minus 25 is 15. And hence the area of the middle rectangle is 15 meter squared. This is 15 meter squared. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share to your learning colleagues and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye bye.